Hello everyone, Berserkhead here and welcome to my series called Toro War Tactics in which I show you many different tactics used throughout history and show you how to perform them in the games of the Toro War franchise. Today, I will take a look at the forest ambush which has been used since ancient times and many famous battles were won thanks to it. A great example of that is the battle of Tyreburg Forest in which the Germanic general Arminius won a decisive victory against the Romans thanks to a brilliant forest ambush. I'm going to explain the theory behind this tactic and give you examples of how effective it could be. First, let me explain the theory behind the forest ambush and then I'll give you in-game examples. So as you can see on this map, you need the main body of your army deployed in a standard formation and you need some of your units hidden in the forest. Note that you don't start marching but rather wait for your opponent to approach. Once your opponent has engaged you in combat, you make sure that all of his units or at least most of them are busy fighting you and then you reveal the units that you had previously hidden in the forest. You should be sure that there are no enemy troops who prevent your units from approaching the fight because that could ruin your whole strategy. Once you are sure of that, you flank your opponent either from the side or from behind and you hope that the enemy troops will rout. However, timing is very important so if you don't do that in the right moment, this might not go exactly the way you planned it. But this was just the theory so let me show you how this looks in game. First of all, I want to say that this is a custom battle that I played for the purpose of showing you the forest ambush in the best way possible so you can be sure that things will be much different in multiplayer. I use Germania, which is probably the best faction that you can use for performing a forest ambush. My army consists of 3 units of naked fanatics, 1 unit of archers and 2 units of gothic cavalry which I hide in the forest. I chose naked fanatics because they have high morale and defense which will allow them to hold the enemy troops long enough for my gothic cavalry to arrive. I turn the flaming arrows and the auto fire of my archers on because I want to start shooting my enemy as soon as they are in my range and I use flaming arrows to reduce their morale as I am aiming to rout them. Once they get closer, I turn the war cry ability of my naked fanatics which decreases their morale even more. So now, as the swordsmen start the fight, I reveal my gothic cavalry. One of the enemy units realizes it and turns around so that they won't be outflanked. But this gives me an opportunity to outflank some of the enemy troops with my naked fanatics and I charge this unit with my gothic cavalry after which I'm able to perform a hammer and anvil strike and rout the enemy. This way I win the battle without losing too many soldiers. Of course, the forest ambush could be performed in many other ways. For example, you can use infantry instead of cavalry or you can simply use skirmish cavalry. Everything depends on the faction you use and the units that you are available to pick. Just make sure you choose the right army. Here I give you an example of what units you should pick when you want to build an army good for a forest ambush. First, choose units with high morale and good defense but don't put your general in them as they are going to suffer the most casualties. You are going to use these units to make sure that they will hold the enemy without breaking. Turn the guard mode on because that way they will just stand their ground without advancing which will prevent them from a formation break. Then choose archers. You can use any type of archers but just make sure you put the flaming arrows on because that way you are going to decrease the morale of the enemy. And finally, choose your shock units that will be hidden in the forest. They could be infantry, heavy cavalry, skirmish cavalry or whatever you find useful. Just be creative with it. Estimate the potential of your units and decide whether if you are happy with it. Now I'm going to give you some other tips which I think could be useful. First of all, never hide your general. Your general unit simply cannot be hidden. No matter where you put it, it's gonna be visible for the enemy. This is one of the most basic rules in Total War so make sure you don't do that because in most cases it's going to reveal the position of all of your hidden units which is something that you definitely don't want to happen. And the last tip that I want to give you is simply hide a small part of your units and not too many of them because it's gonna be too obvious that you're hiding them. Hide just enough units to perform a decent ambush but never hide all of your infantry or all of your cavalry because your opponent is going to notice that you have a suspicious small army and he's not going to advance. Anyways, these were all the basics of the forest ambush tactic. I showed you what its capabilities are and how to perform it, so hopefully after watching this video you're going to know a little bit more about Total War. Get ready for many other tactics explained in the future. My name is Berserkhead and I hope you liked the video. See you next time, goodbye.